Hello everyone, happy new year and welcome to your sacred love divine partner twin flame soulmate reading for January 2022 or whenever you're listening to this. Spirit guided me after um, I have a new deck we're going to use, the Hush Tarot. And as I was feeling into this reading, Spirit said, hush, hush, secrets revealed. So there's secrets being revealed right now to you about your sacred love connection. And we're going to find out what that is. <laughs> okay, what is being activated in the masculine in this situation and the feminine in this situation? What's being activated in the masculine? Well, it's kind of a lot. We're not going to read everything about this, but... Um, we're going to talk about these. Okay, so the crown chakra being highlighted, the top of your head, connection with source, right? Spiritual connection to the universe and the ability to transmute negative energy into the light. So the masculine in this connection is transmuting the shadows, the negative energy into the light, connecting to source energy more, okay? So crown chakra being highlighted here. And then belief and magic then magic comes out. There's magic all around. Stability coming in. Magical opportunities for the masculine. Magical awakenings. Ascension. The frequency of magic supports our intrinsic ability to grow and expand beyond this moment. To move towards possibilities and experiences that are grand and as grand and profound as we can imagine. Right? You just have to believe in it. Right? And then belief comes in and it says... All that is required is our belief in their manifestations. And then belief comes out. I mean, hello. So the masculines are believing in the magic. Wow. Using their imagination. Leveling up. Mastering different aspects of themselves with this 11 energy. New beginnings. Alignment. The frequency of belief supports our sense of self-worth based on our gifts and talents and a strong connection to source. Wow. Believing in themselves again, believing in the magic of life, believing in the power of the divine. So belief systems being transformed in the masculines. Wow, that is really cool. We're gonna just kind of fan it out this way. It's a magical, magical time. And what about for the sacred feminine? Healing. And transition. Okay, so the sacred feminines are going through a transition. Healing. New beginnings. Mastering different aspects of yourself. 29 is an 11. Making the decision to transition into a new phase in your life. The frequency of healing supports our intrinsic ability to restore our health and wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senses and harmonizing everything accordingly. So things are harmonizing, healing. You're opening up divine feminines. The frequency of transition supports our deep understanding of the ever-changing nature of existence in our lives so that we can learn to let go, surrender to the process, and allow transition to occur with ease and grace. So Spirit's encouraging you to let go, allow the healing to happen within yourself, within this connection. You're transitioning, you're moving into a new cycle, a new phase here, okay? We're going to get one more. Two more. Okay, so Divine Feminines, Spirit's encouraging you to just allow things to happen. Be in your sacred feminine energy. You are in your power right now when you go within, when you surrender and let go and allow yourself to receive, okay? This is your receptive, nurturing, and soft side, allowing it to express itself openly and helps you to connect to your intrinsic understanding of the connection to all creation. So being open, being receptive, being compassionate with yourself and others, releasing judgments. You are the divine mediator between heaven and earth, divine feminines, spirit and matter. So that unconditional love can flow from source through our heart and into the world. And I was thinking a lot about this healing energy it has a lot of green in it. So heart healing energy. So 
connecting to source, right? Which is what the masculine energy, the masculine of this connection, really connecting to source, the magical man time to manifest, believing in themselves, having confidence, right? Feminines, you're taking this unconditional love from the divine, this heart-centered love, transitioning, and you are the mediator, bringing heaven to earth by being in your own true energy, open, receptive, loving, generous, kind, compassionate to yourself and others. You are a healer. And look at what's connecting you and your lover. Root chakra, new beginnings, material world. The frequency of the root chakra, the red flower of life, stimulates passion and supports our sense of security on this physical plane, both in our bodies as well in the physical world. There's something changing. There's new beginnings in the physical world for you and your lover. Root chakra, sacred sexual union, new beginnings, number one. Beautiful. So there's brand new beginnings here. I like that. Now with this um, Hush Tarot, we are going to see what is manifesting, what's happening first, second, third, and fourth week. So the next four weeks, whenever you're listening to this, or you can expand yourself beyond that and say, for each quarter of the year, what's going to happen. And if you want to reach out, we can even go deeper into each quarter, into each week um, for your year in love, just to give you a heads up based on current energies and whatever spirit allows us to tune into for quote unquote future energies. Although I know everything's happening at once. <laughs> Let's see. Wow. Right off the bat, there's two that came out together right on top of one another. I want to see what they are because this is like the beginning of the year here for you or the beginning of this time period. Okay. So we have the five of swords. I feel like leaving the battle, learning your lessons, realizing that you can change things by turning away and not engaging negative thinking. This can be negative thinking. I feel like the masculine this connection is moving away from that, believing in themselves again, connecting to spirit, connecting to their higher mind and realizing that they don't have to battle anymore, that they have the power to change things. So things are changing in communication. And here is the Knight of Wands. Yeah, forward movement, passion, opportunity, an offer. And it may be coming from the sacred feminine. Communication from the feminine. If you feel guided to do that, feel free. There's no right or wrong way to do this. But there is some kind of communication coming in. And look, it's like the hushed tarot. Look, she's got her mask on. So it may be when you're meeting one another, when you're still wearing masks, like you see one of the eyes, like his eyes looking forward, like, whoa. And she's kind of looking back. Do you see that? Something about this connection changes something within both of you. There's a lot of passion here. So some kind of passionate communication. Let's see. Opportunity. As you charge down your path and you're just moving forward, it's like you're going to run into one another if you haven't met yet. It's, um, and then here is the Ten of Wands. Yeah, this is the Burdens. like dropping them. I feel like that's what needs to happen if it hasn't happened. Escaping it almost. Like sneak, like not sneaking away in a sneaky way, but like just leaving the battle. It's almost like, see the swords in the ground over here. So there's other people like over here, but I'm going to take my clarity. I'm going to take my lessons of what I've learned here and I'm going to stand in my truth and I'm going to cut away what's not serving me and move forward. I feel like that's what the masculine is doing with the help of the divine. Whereas the feminine in this connection is not really revealing everything, keep, kind of keeping your mouth shut, like observing, paying attention, getting ready to communicate. You're right at the edge of taking this leap into something new or expressing yourself. All this passion is just, just boiling up inside of you. And it could be something about the burdens because you see how looking back at the burdens and moving forward, I feel like you're both moving forward. Even if it's not physically together yet, you're both moving forward and dropping the burdens. But I feel like the feminine in this connection has been very burdened by some type of communication, lack of communication, the stress of life, right? 
So healing needs to occur. Allow yourself to open up to this healing, to the dropping of the burdens. But I, and, and all in all, I feel there's a lot of passion here. And it may feel burdensome to feel all this passion and not be able to do anything with it. So you can use that sacred sexual passion to push forward creative projects, to put it into your family, your career, your children, whatever that is. But you're not meant to carry all these burdens. And I do feel for some of you with this big giant cat is um, standing out to me. Cats represent independence and psychic gifts, magic, right? All of these beautiful things. I feel like luck with the black cat. So I feel that some of you are very gifted and you're feeling very burdened and because it's almost like you have to hide your gifts or hide behind your gifts or something, something to that effect. There's a need to drop the burden here or there's burdens being dropped. Some kind of shift in communication this first um, week, this first quarter. Because everybody's on a different timeline here, right? And the hair font, and look, there's, there's a commitment. I feel for some of you though, Either you or the masculine, you are breaking off a commitment. Somebody is breaking off a commitment and moving towards divine commitment, committing to their spiritual growth, their own path, making a commitment to living a life of integrity instead of, you know, in and out behavior, deception, battles, ego, being, you know, things being a burden. I feel like that's what's changing by committing to your spiritual growth, by committing to healing, opening up, being receptive, being compassionate, that's going to change everything. That's when the magic starts happening. There's something about a commitment, like a shift in commitment. But let's get a little bit more on that. So that's your first like week or first quarter. Reaching out to someone of higher mind, becoming a mentor, reaching out to a mentor to help you with this. But things are definitely changing with the two fives and the 10. <laughs> and then we move forward to the second week, second quarter, depending on how you're thinking about this. We move forward in um, with the Ace of Swords. So complete clarity. And there is a shift in communication. See, this is a, an idea, something that got perhaps got a false start and it felt burdensome. Let's say you meet someone, you feel very passionate, you feel attracted, you feel the magic, you feel you feel everything, right? But then you or this person or both of you kind of do this in and out thing, little fear, other people's fear, the world's fear, all these burdens, right? Piling up around you. And so it kind of got a false start, I feel like for some of you where you're like, oh, is this real or is this not real? But I feel like what's happening is you're getting very clear, especially in this, this second week, second quarter, about this commitment, about commitments that you've made to other people that perhaps need to be let go of. Complete clarity, communication, and, and forward movement freedom. I feel with that energy. Archangel Michael with you. And getting very clear. And what are the two cards that come out? is the Six of Cups and the Magician. Look at that magic magician. Yeah, manifestation of new beginnings. Magic is in the air. You are a master manifester. Okay, and this is the Six of Cups. This is love. This is unconditional love. This is two people getting together and getting busy and sharing the love. Nurturing your inner children, being productive. It's a, Wow, there's a lot of abundance and a lot of love coming on this. these new beginnings. Aces are always a blessing, right? Getting that clarity, having that communication so you know who and what is good for you and who and what is not good for you. I feel like those are kind of the decisions you've been making. Uh, what outside influences are you allowing into your connection? Because that makes a difference but it could be someone you knew from a childhood or, or a past life lover coming in. And there's magic in the air. There's new beginnings, manifestation. And you and your lover, I feel there's this like kind of this hush, hush secrets revealed. It's kind of a secret of what you're doing, the goals that you have, whatever you're creating together. If it's new or you're kind of getting back together with someone, for some of you, you may be this reconciliation, you're keeping it quiet. 
because you realize when you involve other people too much, it, it makes a mess. It's burdensome because everybody has their own opinion, right? So it's committing to each other, one another. And then there's this mentor type energy here with the hair font, with the three reaching out to someone, getting married secretly. I mean, hush, hush. Let's just get married. Let's just do it. Let's not really tell anyone. I feel like that is for someone. That's a very special message. It's not going to happen for everyone. But I feel like at first you keep it to yourself. You commit to one another. You explore the magic. You explore the sacred sexual union. Heal with one another. Right? And you keep everyone else kind of at bay. I, I'm really feeling that. What else do we got for this um, second week, second quarter? Here is the nine of pentacles. So here's the freedom, the independence, the good health, the good fortune coming in. You're coming into some money. A business is taking off. You're improving your health. You're looking good. And you're kind of keeping it a secret to everyone. This independence, this freedom. Moving on from a job, moving on from another connection, finding your freedom, and but but uniting with the one that you're really meant to be with. For somebody, that is your story because that's coming through very clear. First you free yourself and then you get to be together. And it could be freeing yourself from family connections that are causing problems. You know, it could be anything. Your root, where your roots came from. Things are changing. Taking root, that project, that idea that you had is taking root and really growing. There's a lot of abundance coming your way. It's almost like the masculine's been gathering all this information, you know, maybe even, because you can grow from battles, right? And then the masculine and feminine are coming together and communicating. And here's like your spirit guide, like spirit with you, right? The Hierophant energy, the high priest energy. You're communicating, watching over you, right? It has like something his mouth it looks like, or just part of this, like grabbing onto this, this wheel, these keys, this moving forward, like helping you get that, helping you come together. There's an angel, there's spirit helping this come together. You communicate, you get your clarity, you decide to get together, right? Because there's two bunnies, get busy on this project, get busy on this connection, heal together, be together, and, and very protective energy. The divine feminine is very protective over the masculine in this connection. And like, you know, I'm not taking any crap. I'm going to put in the work like the Queen of Pentacles would. And I'm and there's communication and it very much well could be the feminine communicating with the masculine. See, it looks like that feminine revealing herself. So the feminine revealing herself, like these are my intentions. This is what I want. And there's some kind of independence and freedom coming for this connection. What about in the third week, third quarter? forward look at oh my god look at this third week third quarter depending on your timeline right the knight of cups the offer the path forward moving forward towards love on a path that you'll love wow that's what's coming in and i mean it could happen all at once for you it could take time everybody's everybody's different right but you're moving forward <laughs> look at this and the chariot yeah, whatever was stuck and seemed like it wasn't going anywhere, like this connection that you're thinking of is going somewhere. There's forward movement and you're moving out of the past. You're moving on. You're moving away from whomever and whatever is not serving you. Once you do that, you do not look back. It's like everything in the past is done. Making the decision to charge forward. And then here are the beautiful, gorgeous, amazing lovers. Past life lovers someone from your past i'm telling you this is sacred union sacred sexual union and look the little baby swans having babies bringing children together birthing creative projects it's beautiful it's abundant it's luscious it's sensual gorgeous 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 energy wise somebody may play music you may like to sing dance um, I mean, it's just beautiful. Strutting your stuff with a peacock. Really, you're really attractive right now. Healing with your lover. That's this healing. The lover's is a healing card. Heart healing. Higher love with the hair font and this and the lovers. I mean, yes, for sure. Charging forward towards sacred unit. And I, I almost feel like the feminine is the one that's a little um, 
I mean, the masculine as well, but the feminine is the one kind of, I feel like saying to the masculine, let's keep this quiet. Let's move forward and do what we're going to do. And let's not tell anyone until it's time, until we're ready. I feel like it's the feminine that's kind of taking the lead here. Let's move forward on this path. Let's heal. Let's do this. And the masculine's like, yeah, I mean, uh-huh. <laughs> I, I really feel that. I feel the feminine is, is, is leading the way here. Hush, hush, let's keep this quiet as you move into the end of the, the last week of January or you end the end of 2022. You're, you're really sharing the love. This is the two of cups. Best friends could be same-sex relationship and maybe that's what you're keeping quiet because you don't want to deal with what other people think and that's your right. People should be able to be with whomever they want to be, no matter what sex the other person is, no matter what, where they come from, um, how old they are, anything. Like it, sh it doesn't matter. Love is love, unconditional love. You get the six of cups, you get the lovers, you get the nine of cups, and you get the two of cups. Yeah, this is love. Soulmates. It's beautiful. Yeah, I love here. And I also feel from this card, mother-daughter relationship, like your mother, you may not realize it, will approve of this relationship. You will get that approval if that's what you're looking for. But your mother or, you know, your, the sacred mother is very protective of you. I feel like that's why you're, I felt the very protective energy of the feminine. You're very protective because your mother or someone that really cared about you, this mother-like energy, the divine mother is very protective of you. And you have this soulmate bond with your mother or with this, you know, older feminine energy. It could be a relationship, a love relationship, but I really think it, it's also mother and daughter in approval of the marriage. Wow. You could come from different religions, different backgrounds. And there's, there's a protective energy, but there's a balancing of this connection. And this is soulmates and unconditional love for sure. So take whatever messages resonate with you because as a, because I'm reading for a collective, if you, if like things are popping off to you and this is really resonating, reach out to me. Let's dig a little deeper so that you can have all the information you need to move forward. But this is the nine of swords. So be careful to not get trapped in your head with anxiety. Somebody may have a little anxiety about this approval, this coming together, this sacred union, this forward movement, it may cause a little anxiety. Change does that sometimes. But what spirit is saying is, you know, you can talk to your lover about it. You can talk to the sacred feminine, reach out to someone of the church and the spiritual community if you're feeling this way. But there may be a little anxiety because when you move forward in something big and something new, um, you know, it makes you feel a little anxious. But what spirit wants you to do is refocus those thoughts on abundance and love. And getting clear with what you really want. Feel into your heart space with this Queen of Swords. Bring love into it. Balance your head and your heart. And with these stars, it's like dreams are coming true. Communication that you've been asking for is coming through for you. Clarity. Higher mind thinking. Getting over this anxiety if you feel any. Ground yourself. Talk about it. There are people that want to help you. And you're on path to man master this mental body energy here. So get really clear, ground yourself, reach out to who you trust. And then there's this three of wands energy. So this is like something destined, something faded, something that's coming together that you may not realize this connection, everything coming together, everything being unified, the ship coming in, divine timing. But if we sit and we wait and we don't take any action and we stay stuck, right? Because that would be this energy right here. That's the only energy standing out to me that would keep you trapped and stuck. If we just kind of wait for someone else to do something about it, and we don't take charge, I feel like that's where the feminines are. are. You're realizing that by you taking charge of this, the ship is going to come in. By you communicating, the ship is going to come in. By you reaching out to people who love you, right, and healing these situations, your, the communication you want is coming in. I feel the ship is coming in. Things are aligning and coming together for you and, and this union. 
And at the bottom of the deck is the strength card, yeah? It's, it's, you have to rely on this inner strength. You have a lot of spiritual power and strength. It takes a lot of strength to keep moving on this journey, but you're very powerful and you have what it takes and you're growing and expanding the entire way. There's a strong pull to be with this person. There's a lot of strength in this connection and in this forward movement path. There's a strong pull towards your destiny with this three of wands that keeps screaming at me, destiny. A strong pull to your destiny. So that's what it's looking like for the next four weeks, this next year, is that the lovers are healing. Relationships, connections in your life are healing that will help the situation. But no matter what, get clear with what you want. Focus on the love. Stand up for what you believe in. Move forward away from anyone or anything that is not serving you. There is just so much love for you and this, this feeling of destiny. So whatever doors are closing, it's for you, not to you, because there's beautiful doors opening for you and your lover. If you feel guided to do a past life love reading, reach out to me because I am guided to say that because the Six of Cups, the lovers, <coughs> it just is giving me this past life feeling. You were married in a past life. You were committed in a past life. And you're coming together in this life. And as your final piece of advice um, for you who's ever listening from the Rumi Oracle, let's see what comes out. And someone may be coming to you and saying, hush, hush, this is a secret. Please don't tell anyone. The dissolving light. Three, a new cycle, expansion, growth, divine timing. Communication, you know, from the divine. The dissolving light. Let's see what that has to say. Dare to take my hand and become set alight with holy fire, my cherished one. Step forward with me. Let's burn together, dissembled in the light that cannot be extinguished. This is the light that burns with such incandescent truth that no falsehood can withstand its audacious vibrancy. Come with me now to the light. Together we shall melt into truth. And it, the, the title was Hush, Hush and Secrets Revealed. The truth is being revealed to you. This oracle comes to you as a sign of that which is to come and soon. The beloved divine presence is calling to you, igniting within your deepest being so that it may have its way with you. The divine wishes to live through you and into the world, reaching into the hearts of many and igniting those hearts into greater life. It is a clever and insatiable lover. It will stop at nothing until the entire human race is restored to the wild divine freedom of a static divine reunion, completely and utterly ignited in love. Oh, this is amazing. Pass it on, dissolve into the light of this love. Many blessings to you.